Well, good afternoon, everybody. It is uh, terrific to have you along for our live coverage of this uh, eagerly awaited contest. It should provide some terrific entertainment on uh, what is turning into a rather imperfect afternoon. The weathermen really get it wrong, and uh, they have warned us that there is rain on its way. Shouldn't be bad enough in any sense meaningfully to impact on the game of football, but it is a factor to be taken into consideration. Plenty of other factors, of course, principally each side's concern for the strengths of the other. So what a stage for the players to take to here ahead of such an important game. Crystal Palace have gone 4-3-3. Jim, how do you interpret that? Yeah, and the two wide players up front can make the system pretty much succeed or fail. They'll be quite flexible in their creative movement. They like to drift in. At times, they'll mix their game up and, and keep their width. And, of course, they're also expected to track any runs from opposition fullbacks. So they've got quite hard-working jobs. But if they can gain a one-on-one -on -one advantage, they can dictate. We have already started here. Townsend. And it's Ryderfeldt. Played out to the right. Oh, well defended. That had to be done. Maitland Niles. Jokushlu, Riedewald gets it back. Townsend. Has a hit! There it is! First glove drawn. Oh, beautifully dispatched. There is no reaching that. Well, you know, sometimes it pays off not to think too much about things, just put your foot through it and... That was a good example, great contact, and the keeper had very little chance. Crystal Palace they have an early lead. Good start. Make the Niles. And Teke battles to win it back. Ayu. It's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. It's ruffled a few feathers, but well dealt with. Forward it goes. So who's he picking out? Plays it out to the flank. Andros Townsend, whose goal-scoring skills have already been evident. Now the counter. Hardly anything between the sides, and the score is 1 0. West Bromwich have a free kick. Well, he can't say now that he hasn't been warned. Yeah, and he's just entered the last chance saloon. One wrong move now, and he's in trouble. It's a very good battle there, terrific to watch. Tries to get it forward quickly. Phillips. Maitland Niles. Dia, real chance! It's anyone's ball. 
Oh, that is asking for trouble. Oh, shooting chance! Oh, the keeper's got ever so well. The keeper really dug out his defence then. A magnificent effort. Oh, looks like he's been taken out there. Conteke. Now it's Ayu. Gets away from his opponent. Oh, it's opened up nicely for him. Diagne. Just brushed off the ball there. Joel Ward. Out to the right, Milivojevic. Balls out on the left now. It is quite a run he's making here. Great lead! Oh, fine stop from the keeper. Oh, that's a... It's going to be the final action of the first half. So there you have it, a close sport half of football. It still had its moments. And ultimately produced just one goal. A decent goal that Still back on the first 45 minutes. Well, I think there's plenty to be pleased about with that first half display in terms of the score and, and overall approach. Crystal Palace come off having scored the only goal of the game so far. It's been tight, it's been exciting, and there is certainly plenty for us to chew on during the break. Already up and running for the second half. Crystal Palace going well here, and they're in a good position to kick on and add to their lead. They don't have to overcommit, but they can place more emphasis on stretching their advantage without necessarily neglecting things defensively. Phillips. Phillips going full steam ahead down the left flank. And he's there to cut it out. He's making good use of his strength there. Just refuses to be out muscled. Hoists it forward. Uh, ball needed to be better there. It's a wasted chance. Phillips. So still just a goal between them. It's come loose. Milivojevic, out to the left it goes. This is gone, that's a foul. And the referee has shown him a yellow card. Well, this is exactly the approach they have to take now, Peter. Well, this isn't the time to talk about risks now, Jim, is it? They just have to hurl everything at it and hope for face to face. And Ayu! Wanted to outwit the keeper, but a shade off target. Look, you've got to have the perfect feel in your boots to, uh, to pull those off. Maitland-Niles. Maitland-Niles plays it forward. Good challenge, he just stood firm. And it's Townsend. Talk about singling someone out. Well, look, they're clearly very keen to prevent him from taking the, the physical higher ground. They're fighting fire with fire. Foot in. Townsend. 
And it's played forward. Crystal Palace are clearly looking to kill this game off. It's keeping the ball away from the other end, too. And it's Benteke. Now it's Ayu. Ayu. Ayu! Oh, and that should have been two. Oh, and a real chance to pile on the pressure, and he'll be desperate to get another. So now we're going to get those changes we have been expecting. West Bromwich can't make any sort of inroad despite all this possession. Barkley. 1-0 as we head towards the end. Maitland-Niles. Crystal Palace need to hold on for a few more moments. Joel Ward goes looking. Yokushlu. Look, their supporters must be going barmy about this because there's no sense of purpose in what we're seeing. Keeps everyone guessing. Tries a shot! He's done very well to get to that. Well, that was great. So that's it. It is all over. What a game. End to end, it flew by, and in the end, it all came down to just the odd goal. Your reflections then, Jim. Well, to me, this is a result, Peter, that says an awful lot more.